What is up? Welcome back to another episode of this My Team Save. Last time, we did absolutely amazing for not just us and the team, but also for Teo. As you can see, we did win. We held off Leclerc, even with a little bit of damage from Fernando Alonso. And our teammate finally got points. This time we head to the final sprint race though of the season being Qatar. So a lot of questionable strate strategies are going to be happening. You can see how much resources we have. I'm not going to spend them until the end of next episode when we can't just do all the contracts and stuff. Yeah, let's just head into the sprint race of Qatar. So, no one is in front of us. You can see on our dashboard, we are P1. Okay. Well, it looks like we'll be going for um, <laughs> mediums. Apparently, the softs can't even make it seven laps. Meaning that we will probably have to do a two-stop or a one-stop, depending on what tires we go. Let's start this sprint. As we go... Five red lights, I'm racing, I almost forgot to say that. And for the third race, I think in a row, for the fourth start in a row, we've had a wheel spin and we get jumped by Russell and by Norris. I'm gonna fight Russell though. We have bad blood against Mercedes, so I'm gonna have to. I'm particularly with Russell. That is not a good start. We've lost two places before the first corner. You tag Russell there. Not the greatest. We can make this work. We can make it work. Let's see how the rest of this sprint goes, but it doesn't look too positive. Yeah, that was not a good step. Let's head down, try and get these two overtakes, and then pull away. We do have the straight line speed. I know we have the straight line speed. The overtake. They're overtaking, I'm hot lapping. We're gonna send it. Ooh, Russell, Russell, Ru And then we get tie by Claire. That, that okay, that's a little bit of my fault. What the hell is the Claire doing there? We're gonna stay ahead of Oscar, but Russell slams the door shut. Way too late. Let's just try and get head down. Let's focus here. Alright, we're right behind Leclerc. And a lap later, after losing the place because of what happened with Russell, we should breeze past. Yep, and we do. Comfortably. Drop that down the medium. It's just like Vegas, we're very quick in a straight line. Good. Russell makes the lead. Move for the lead, makes it stick. And we're not going to try and catch up to these two again. Okay, with two, la with two laps to go, nothing really has happened. Realistically. We got fast as loud, we kind of did fall out for a little bit. But now we're going to actually get a move done. Are we? We're gonna try and make it three wide. Norris carries a lot of speed. We get the momentum on Russell. We're gonna use some overtake just to make sure we're guaranteed ahead. And we are. Up to P2. And we just have to overtake Norris next lap. 
like I was saying, nothing really has happened up until that point. We've just been battling back and forward. I look like the quickest out of everyone. But if you can't overtake, then you can't show your ability. Derriere makes this car very hard to drive. So yeah. We'll just play this a little bit, even if I'm not going to speak. We're going to overtake Norris on the straight. But we need to make sure we're close enough. With that, we are so much closer to Norris than we were to Russell. Norris gets the power done. He's burning battery, we're burning battery. But we have so much overspeed. That we're back into the lead that we lost on the opening lap. Alright, let's see, can we pull a decent gap? Will be hard. But let's try it. Okay, so we can pull away. But I do believe this is still enough to come and claim the sprint win. Yes, 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 guys, yes. Come on, boys. Great way to start the, Top job, mate. Top the week. Job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but man, you pulled through. Thank you. Well done. Uh, Mark, it's only the sprint race. Not the actual race weekend. We haven't done qualifying yet. Let's see how that is, but it is a win. The sprint concluded. Join us next time for qualifying. And of course, the main event. This weekend's Formula One Grand Prix. We'll see you next time. Our gap to Perez is uh, getting nice. Let's head into qualifying. Okay. Time for qualifying. And I'm not using overtake because I think I could be too quick. At least see how the first lap goes. Let's start this lap. One of two. You know, long run, Carlos a 122.5 as we, in my opinion, nail the first couple of corners. Can we nail this because this is important? Uh, a little lift off, that's not ideal. We can improve in the first sector, let's see how the rest of the lap goes. The lower hander gets me all the bloody time. 22-4. Ooh. Ferrari want to show up today. Alright, come on. How much improvement does every every driver need to bloody do? He's only starting his lap, isn't he? Gasly. No, he finished his lap. Yeah, because he finished it just ahead of me. Ooh, 20. Okay. Not bad. 22 2. Let's see. As Alonso goes, even quicker. Let's see how the second lap goes. Alright, final lap. Let's see what we can do. Our teammate has not came out again. We're sitting in P3. As we start our lap. Probably will be further down. We have to still beat that 21-9 from Fernando. The first couple of corners are taken completely different. And somehow we're a tenth down. Trying something different here. And we gain all that time back. We are up. 
probably looking at minimal gains. So let's see what all we do. I could English. I'd be really good. Okay, now we're finding improvements. I don't think any of them improved. So we still lose a little bit of time in the middle compared to them. Not too much. Oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. Four tenth improvement has to be Paul. No one else could improve, it looks like, on their lap. Because Fernando and Lando could not go faster. And we will take pole position at a reverse front row from last time out when it was us in second and Alonso was actually in pole. Our teammate is back to the back of the pack. And our technically our championship rival Perez is actually in prime spot for me to gain even more points over him. So let's head into the race and see how we do. Okay, it is race day. I don't know if anyone has penalties. We might as well just have a look. Uh, does not look like it. No one has penalties. Everyone's starting on mediums. Simple. Surprisingly, it's just mediums to hards. I'll be surprised if anyone tr tries that, unless they get damage. Yeah. Let's hop into this race and try not to repeat what we did last time. That's a very quick and wheel spin again. And we lose one position. We're going to fight Alonso around the outside. But Alonso is on the softs. No wonder he got ahead so quickly. So we lose a place, but Alonso going for an alternate strategy, it looks like. That's very interesting. I did not see that. So Alonso takes the lead. After another wheel spin start. A little bit wide. Not how we like it. But I think this is our chance. This is so our chance to get Fernando Alonso. This is uh, this is our chance. We're gonna do it. We're making the move. Back to the lead of the race. Brilliant, nice move. Keep going. I think Fernando's already starting to semi struggle on those softs, so let's see. We'll see. As long as I can still pull the gap away from Piastri and all, I'm not the slow one here. Purple Sector 1. Happened to you? Not the greatest. Alright. Let's burn to make sure he can't get ahead. We're going to be boxing. But here comes Lando Norris. Up the inside. We're going to hang it around the out. He tags us a bit. I can't give him any more room. So we're just going to squeeze him. We almost got spun round by him, but we still stay ahead. This is perfect. Absolute heartache. Did not know where the pit was. But we are in for our stop. 
Looks like they might be going to Softs. Have we made a strategy blunder? Okay, go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. What tired? Fernando Alonso is on mediums. So have we made a strategy call that isn't going to work? And Alonso's ahead. Alonso is net P1. As we get these tires pretty much warmed up within the first two to three corners. Us and Alonso, one and two, not on the road. Me and Albon, probably one of the only people that are probably going to pit for hards. Have we made a blunder? I am struggling. St I am struggling with these cold tires. For shares in, that doesn't matter. Okay, Teo's in the pits. Teo in the pits. All that matters is where okay, is Lando Norris feeding out eight, into me one, where me and Alonso are. Seconds. There's Lando. He's also on hards. He pitted a lap later, and they almost collide. But Lando got ahead. So he's been jumped by both. That is not what we needed. Alright. Can we get Lando? We need to get back past one of these guys. We need to get back past Lando Norris, I believe. I don't know what... Alonso's strategy is. We're gonna get... We're gonna get Alonso. We're gonna send it. We've sent it fully, and we got past both. I know Alonso's fighting Norris. And just like that, we're back to first, and these guys are fighting. Fighting so much, they're already outside my DRS. They have been side by side. Since corner, since turn one, and only now have they stopped. We've lost the whole second. Okay, as I come through the final corner for five laps to go, you can see the gaps eat out to four seconds. Because after that second fight, you started to see they fought one more time where Norris actually got past. But then, I was still able to pull away by almost a second in the last two laps since that bit. And the gap's eking out past four seconds. Alonso made an attempt last lap, but unsuccessful on aging medium tires. So unless we don't do any mistakes... We're looking for back-to-back -back wins on legit pace. These two would have been fighting us. But, they fought themselves. DRS overtake, and my mistake probably cost me two attempts, so. We're good. That looks like a Williams, and I think that's Alexander Albon, if I remember. Is that a puncher, or what is actually going on? With Alexander Albon. That is Albon's car, right? Yep, 23. What has gone on with Mr. Alex's car? Is it a puncher? Yep, you can tell. Front right's gone. When you look at it, front right is... I think it's front right. Front right's the only one that's moving differently. That is not good news for the Williams driver. He's having to make an extra pit stop. Pretty much sews him down to be the last of the runners. As we come around 
to start the final lap of this race. And I'm too going to start for the fastest lap. We go on board. Norris, Alonso, cannot catch me. Damage has already been done. They were only able to gain on me two temps after I made a little mistake by going wide. Norris and Alonso are fighting. So is Russell and Verstappen. Try and keep everything. We are still pulling away from Norris. We are doing something right. It's a yellow middle. Let's so we can put something out the bag here. I don't think we're going to be improving. But since we got away from Alonso and Norris, it's been a dominant display. And it's a double yes, yes, guys, yes. win on, for the Greek. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. We have won back-to-back -back races, and we won both races in one race week. Three wins on the trot. And is it Max? Points as the team celebrates. Stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Yeah, we bring the grease flag out. Norris still, Norris keeps second. Alonso, very good strategy, soft to mediums, and he made it work. That is very, very, very good. But we are your winners. Where did Paris finish? Good for the thing. With that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. And we do get the fastest lap. And Paris only scored one point. What time did Albon set? We we were miles quicker when we set that fastest lap. Oh goodness! Teo finishes ahead of a couple cars. Albon nowhere near. I don't know if he was in the region of points. But if we check a look at the standings, we jump ahead of Perez and hold on. If my math is correct here, Alonso right now, with the way he's performed the last couple, I think Alonso's out the question. But can we actually, we can take P5 mathematically? Barely. If no one above me scores points. That's incredible. We have jumped Perez though this race. Look at Constructors, Ferraris closing Red Bull again, 14 points to the final race is really, really good. We are <laughs> still over 100 points behind Austin. We've got a lot of work to do next season. But if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know what, who you want me to sign before next episode. Probably by that time we've already would have signed someone. I don't know. But until next time. Peace.